Hello, today is day 13 of the 30 day map challenge of 2025 and I'm going to make a 10 minutes map which is the theme of today. I'm going to download Hydro Basins from the HydroShads website. It's a great website with uh, ready-made data sets for hydrology and I'm going to download the basins of Africa customized with the lakes because we're going to make a map of the Mara River Basin that I'm also going to use in class in the coming week. So it's a data set that has a hierarchical set of uh, river basins, so different levels. And the first thing we need to do is uh, extract the zip file and then check which level is appropriate for finding the Mara River Basin. So after downloading, I go to the folder where I've downloaded the file and I extract the zip file. I extract it to the folder and not an extra subfolder. And there's the result, so let's go to QGIS. And there I see in the folder the different levels. And let's just open a level and find a place in the catchment, like uh, Narok is the biggest place close by and there I don't see really uh, that this is the correct level it's two large units but if I open level six I recognize the shape of the catchment and um, I'm going to use the selection tool select the polygon of the catchment and export it to a new file so I save the selected features let's make a geo package called Mara and then as a layer name, the Mara River Basin. If you want to do analysis, you can change the projection. For this quick map, I'll keep it like this. And I remove the previous layers that I don't need anymore, so I only have the Mara River Basin polygon. Now we need some context, and that would of course take a lot of time if we wouldn't have nice plugins for that. So I'm going to use vector tiles from the Map Tiler plugin. So I install MapTiler and then in the browser panel you have a MapTiler section. But before you can use that, uh, you need to go to the account settings and create an account and get the token. That's just a short um, step that you can do. I already did that and uh, now I can access the files here. And I just want a simple topographical map as a background, as a vector tile. But you can also choose uh, terrain or other things that you, s you find here. Um, you see a nice topographical background map, but now we need to do something about our river basin polygon. And I'm going to use the inverted polygon shape burst fill method. So I change to inverted polygons and I change the renderer to shape burst fill. Then for the colors, I use for the first color a light gray. So if you make R, G and B the same value, you get a grayscale. Unless it's 000, zero, zero uh, then it's black or 255, 255, 255, then it's white. The second color is white, but I made it 70% uh, transparent. I work with the distance to 4 and I change the blur strength a bit to 10. And then it would also be nice to see the catchment boundary as a thin line. So I add an extra renderer there with a simple line. And that already looks great. So I'll zoom to the layer. And this is already our quick and dirty catchment map with uh, a vector tile that we can uh, further customize. So uh, there's a background there that we can change or hide and put our own DEM in the background. Or if I click here on Map Tiler Planet, I can change all the symbols and labels and styles what I uh, want. For now, I don't do that because I only got 10 minutes for this map. Good time to save the project because if it crashes, you also lose time. Save it to the geo package that we created. And uh, now let's uh, create a map in the print layout. I call it Mara. Then I'm going to add the map. Take some time to render, but here it is. And it needs a title. Uh, 
and let's call it Mara River Basin. And I'm going to change the font to something else like uh, Open Sans and then the extra bold for the title and make the size a bit bigger. Let's use uh, 36 points here. Um, use a little text buffer for the readability and then go back. And here I change the alignments of horizontal and vertical to center. And uh, yeah, we can further tweak that, but this is a quick and dirty map. So we're going to continue with adding a skill bar so people have an idea of the size of the map. We'll work on the exact placement uh, later. Let's first uh, try to put more uh, elements there. You can tweak the settings if you have more time. Uh, let's see what the legend is in this case. And what you see is that it's very limited uh, because we use the vector tiles not taking over um, the legend there. So we're going to make this map without uh, a legend. Uh, if you have more time, you could make uh, a legend patch uh, of the uh, catchment boundary. Um, but here we'll just uh, do without. It's clear that this is the catchment and people can recognize the elements of the map. Let, uh, let us add a little north arrow. And then we need some uh, extra text here with the data sources. And the nice thing is that you see uh, below copyright map dialer, copyright OpenStreetMap uh, contributors, and we can copy that from the decorator. So we already have that text, saves a bit of time. Go back to the map. And there, drag a box for text, paste it. Let's first add 30 day map challenge, day 13, which is a 10 minute map. Add the data sources. And it's nicer with a comma in between, and we add a third one, and that's of course Hydrosheds. And add my name here. Then we're also going to tweak the font. I'm going to use Open Sans. And uh, yeah, under time pressure, it's always uh, tough to get these things right with the alignment and the sizes and all the settings that we can use. So uh, let's see if we can improve it a little bit within the time. Um, make sure that everything is from the same uh, font family. That's normally a uh, good practice. So if you use uh, Open Sans like me, make sure that all the text is Open Sans and you're not mixing different uh, font families here. That looks already great. Uh, would be nice to have a made with QGIS logo. And you can add it as an SVG that is shipped with QGIS under logos. And there you find a nice green one that matches a bit the colors here on the map. Then further tweak the uh, alignment. I'm still not so happy with this uh, text here. So let's move it. And also change the alignment, uh, change the centering because the right center now doesn't work too well. So I still make it center. And I think that's great. So we're going to export it. I can ignore this message here and uh, save it to a PNG. Click save. And wait until our picture of the map is ready. And there it is. And I open it and voila, the final result of a 10 minute map in almost 10 minutes.